so we can't expect them to do it for us today. The Bible predicts that there is coming a day, and I believe we're already here, where we will be hated, persecuted, and even killed for the name of Jesus and the gospel. What did we do wrong? What did I do wrong? The fact that we're here today on a public sidewalk blocking the streets shows us clearly that I shouldn't have been arrested. Why was I arrested? Disturbing the peace. I have louder amplifications now than I did then. Why was I arrested when just down the road there's a big group standing, protesting, blocking streets, and none of them are being arrested for disturbing the peace? So why was I arrested? I was arrested because of bigotry, hatred, hypocrisy, biblophobia, Christophobia, and all of the above. And it's time, I know, some Christians are afraid. Should we stand up on our civil rights? Well, I want you to know that God has given us a gift of civil rights in this generation. that gift and cherish that gift and we cherish our civil rights because civil rights are for Christians too. On your bulletin here, I'm just going to ask if the music can just be down a bit. I want to let you know that what we're doing is perfectly legal. And when I was arrested, I was within the law. They didn't charge me for hate speech because I said nothing hateful. If you look at your bulletins on page number two, it lists that you have rights as Christians. Everyone in Canada has the right to freedom of conscience and religion. You shouldn't be bullied to believe what they believe. You have freedom of conscience. You don't have to accept something that someone else wants you to accept because you have freedom of conscience. We are not going to be bullied. It also says in our Charter of Freedom and Rights that we have freedom of thought. We can think how we want to think as Canadians, even if you disagree. We have freedom of belief. If we believe that this is right or wrong, we have the freedom to believe that. We have freedom of opinion and expression. That means that we are allowed to have an opinion on public sidewalks. Without the fear of being arrested, without the fear of being called a homophobe, We love everybody. We have our opinions. We love the LGBT community. We love the Muslim community. We love every community. Can I get an amen? I'm going to say that again. We love the LGBT community.
expression. That means we are allowed to express ourselves. We are allowed to do this. We have freedom of the press and freedom of media and freedom of peaceful assembly. Do you know that they're trying to paint a picture that we are people that cause violence? I want you to make, I want to make something very clear. We are against all forms of violence. We are against hatred. Because the Bible says, whoever hates somebody is a murderer. We are against murder. We are against violence. They're trying to paint the wrong picture of us. The Human Declaration of Human Rights repeats the same thing. And it also says in the Criminal Code Section 176, that no one should prevent the clergyman from doing his business. And they keep violating our rights. So we're going to hear from a few people that I respect. People that are on the front lines. People that are standing up for Jesus. The first person I'm going to call is Pastor Reverend Kevin Herrera from Torch Ministries. He's going to share from his heart. He does evangelism. Just about two minutes of his thoughts. Glory to God. Just look like a neighbor and say, I love you. Look like a neighbor and say, I love you. Listen, I'll pick up the God on the one on the road and on the praise. Because the pastor did it. The vision that God has given him. And we are here on this God because we're doing this all over the world. He gave us a couple of minutes to share. This is happening in Brazil. 